Friday, June 14th, everyone. Welcome back to Weather on the Go, all your weather coverage. In today's weather forecast, we're going to be talking about an extensive heat wave covering the eastern two-thirds of the country as we go into Father's Day weekend and especially into next week, and a ring of fire pattern that will bring rounds of severe storms across parts of the central plains up into the upper Midwest and Great Lakes region. We'll dive into the details on that, and something brewing in the tropics. We'll dive into that as well later on in the video. So if you are new here to the channel on Weather on the Go, make sure to subscribe to the channel down below as we do cover Southern Canada, the United States, and the tropics. Be sure to press the like button down below after today's video if you do like it. Leave any comments, questions, and concerns below. We'll get to those later on today. Let's look at temperatures here. Low temperatures this morning across portions of the country. Pretty mild out here across the east and the southeast as we woke up into the 70s for many areas this morning. Further north up into the Dakotas, Minnesota and Wisconsin areas a little bit cooler this morning starting off into the 50s and the 60s and then the 40s over here into the Cascades of the Pacific Northwest. Here's that ridge of high pressure that will be controlling our weather as we go through the day and this is going to bring a lot of sunshine shine across the middle of the country where we don't have showers and storms and the heat will be on across much of the country here. Look at the high temperatures this afternoon. Into the 90s we go across portions of Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, and eastward towards portions of the middle and lower Mississippi Valley in toward the southeast coast. Now across the north we got that ring of fire pattern. That means we have a lot of cloud cover and some rounds of showers and storms, some of which could be severe. That will hold temperatures down with that rain-cooled air across portions of the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, and the northeast into the 70s this afternoon. Here are your heat and values. You can see getting into the triple digits across portions of Tulsa up to 106, 101 there in Oklahoma City, 101 in Wichita Falls, near 100 at 99 in Dallas and 101 in Little Rock, Arkansas this afternoon. We did have some active weather yesterday in the form of severe weather in these blue dots, that's where we had wind reports from portions of Michigan all the way down here into portions of the Texas Panhandle, even upstate New York seeing some wind reports as well as the upper peninsula of Michigan. We actually had a very busy day with tornadoes as well. We had seven reported tornadoes, a couple there into portions of western Illinois and western and southwestern Kansas. Now today we have more severe weather. The frontal boundary did move through those areas of the Midwest further south, so the areas were watching today include the I-95 corridor from the Portland, Maine area down through Boston, Hartford, New York City, and into the Poconos here in southeastern Pennsylvania, and then to the west across the front range of eastern Colorado into western and southwestern Nebraska, western and northwest Kansas. We have a slight risk of severe weather here. The main risk here today will be winds and hail, so damaging winds over 60 miles per hour, possibly in this dash-shaded lines from eastern Colorado just outside the Denver area into southwestern Nebraska. Nebraska and northwestern Kansas, one or two of those storms could produce hurricane force winds over 75 miles per hour. Then quarter size hail or larger possible in these yellow and brown shaded colors from the I-95 corridor, the northeast and mid-Atlantic, back here again across the western plains. And a couple tornadoes are possible with a 2% chance of that across northeast Colorado, southwestern Nebraska, and northwest Kansas. There's the instability. There's your thunderstorm feel across portions of the central and southern plains getting into the Ohio River Valley and then up the I-95 corridor. The strongest instability there across portions of the central plains and that's where we have all modes of severe weather including tornadoes here we go the radar depiction this afternoon scattered showers and storms supercell thunderstorms and you see how they, they are by themselves this could lead to enough inflow into those storms to have those rotate a little bit this afternoon across Kansas into Nebraska. We'll keep a very close eye on that. Scattered storm evolution across portions of the I-95 corridor back into the Poconos of, of Pennsylvania there and into West Virginia. Could see a couple of showers and storms producing some damaging winds, hail out there as well. Going into the evening, I think we lose the intensity and coverage of severe weather in the I-95 corridor because we don't have a lot of instability to start with around 1,000, 2,000 joules per kilogram as we lose the daytime heating. That will quickly go away. We have a little bit more energy out here in the plains, so I think storms will go longer out here across portions of the Dakotas, Nebraska, Kansas, and into the Texas, Oklahoma panhandle. 
as we go into this evening and then those will try to move toward Iowa Minnesota but they will be battling dry air as they move further east toward the Mississippi River early Saturday morning speaking of Saturday and Father's Day weekend on Sunday Father's Day itself on the 16th of June you can see that ridge of high pressure is in firm control across the eastern two-thirds of the country and kind of elongating back toward Arizona and New Mexico we got a trough up here across the Pacific Northwest so here are your high temperatures for Saturday, June 15th, you can see 90s further south across portions there of the central and southern plains near the Gulf Coast and the southeast coast. Cloud cover and some active weather to the north will keep us into the 60s and 70s. Very pleasant conditions for temperatures there across the upper Midwest, Great Lakes, and Northeast on Saturday. Heat indexes will be well into the triple digits all across the south as we go into Saturday. Father's Day on Sunday, June 16th, the heat starts to build north. So Chicago into Des Moines, into the La Crosse, Wisconsin, area of Rochester, Minnesota, those areas We'll be getting into the lower, if not middle 90s for highs Sunday afternoon. And heat index values could be pushing over 100 all the way up there toward La Crosse, Wisconsin, possibly up to 105 degrees Fahrenheit with heat indexes Sunday afternoon for Father's Day. There's the cold front, though. Back to the west. That will lead to more active weather. Here's the jet stream. And you can see this is the highway for storms. So further south, we don't have that. So we have a lot of heat, a lot of dry air. Further south, not a lot of rainfall. Further north, we have the highway for storms. This is the jet stream. See these little dips in the jet stream that will lead to active weather at times this weekend. Here are the severe weather chances as we go into tomorrow on Saturday, June 15th. Slight risk up here into northeastern Montana, western North Dakota. Another slight risk back here into western Iowa, eastern Nebraska, and northern Kansas with a marginal extending back toward Amarillo there into Texas. As we go into Sunday, right now a broad-brushed marginal risk of severe weather in the dark green from the upper peninsula there of Michigan around the Marquette area, back through La Crosse, Wisconsin, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Rochester, Minnesota, in toward the Sioux Falls area and Rapid City, South Dakota. Some of those areas in the line there of potential for severe storms on fire. Father's Day. So let's walk you through that here on Saturday. We have a complex of showers and storms that will evolve tonight across the plains. Those will march eastward, but don't let this fool you folks. There'll be plenty of dry hours. This will be running into a lot of dry air as it moves further toward the east, toward Wisconsin, eastern Iowa, and Illinois. It's going to fall apart very quickly tomorrow morning. As we go into Saturday night, we have more moist air further west. So I think a lot of that activity out west in western Iowa, Minnesota, eastern Nebraska, and eastern South Dakota, maybe even northern Wisconsin, will continue as we go through the day on Saturday into Saturday night. But the further east it goes, it's just going to be battling that dry air. So it's going to be falling apart in coverage and intensity until we get to Sunday Father's Day. And then we see a complex of showers and storms moving across the Badger State of Wisconsin, eastern and central Iowa, and eventually into northern Illinois. Illinois and Michigan as we go deeper into the day on Father's Day. Here are the rainfall totals between now and Sunday Father's Day on the 16th of June. The heaviest rainfall will be from the Marquette area back through portions of Duluth and La Crosse, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Rochester, Minnesota, back west of Des Moines toward Omaha there and Sioux Falls, Fort Dodge, Iowa, and then back there toward Lincoln, Nebraska, the Kearney area, and then back into Dodge City, Kansas. So that's kind of the corridor where we have rainfall amounts of a half inch to an inch and a half as we go through Father's Day weekend. East of there, it's going to be battling dry air. So into southern Wisconsin, eastern Iowa, much of Illinois, the Ohio Valley, and further south from there in that ridge of high pressure, we're just going to see a lot of dry air or just a trace of rainfall here maybe a quick shower or storm pop up during any of those afternoons heading into next week though the heat really stays firm across the east okay we have a very big ridge of high pressure across the eastern great lakes and southeastern canada up here into quebec and we have a trough across the west so a big pattern change we had a lot of heat last week in the west. The heat this week into next week is actually going to be out east, and the cooler weather will be out west. So looking here at Monday to start the work week here on June 17th, a lot of 90s all the way up here into the Great Lakes, the Ohio Valley, and Midwest. As we go into Wednesday, a little bit of a frontal boundary will try to move through the upper Midwest, maybe successful into the areas like Minneapolis, St. Paul, La Crosse, back down toward Des Moines, bringing showers and storms by midweek. But that heat builds right back up later in the week 
here or there on Friday, June 21st, with a lot of those heat index values over 100, even temperatures without the heat index into the triple digits in places like Michigan, Illinois, Wisconsin, and Iowa. So definitely seeing the heat on later on in the week. Here's that ring of fire pattern. There is the jet stream again, further north, and that's where we're going to see the storm chances, the upper Midwest and the high plains. So from the Dakotas into Nebraska, Iowa there into the Gopher State of Minnesota and the Badger State of Wisconsin, and then further east toward Ontario and Quebec, Canada, that's where we have the active weather next week. And the rainfall amounts will be piling up, accumulating rain, especially centered on Minnesota there into central and northern Minnesota around the Minneapolis-St. Paul areas and north. You can see this little bullseye here of around those blues. That's around six to eight inches of rain on the way in some of those areas there into northern Minnesota. Notice the rain rainfall down in coastal Texas and eastern Mexico, that is with the new area of investigation. The National Hurricane Center in Miami, Florida has a tropical weather outlook, has a 50% chance of something developing here in the Bay of Campeche and the southwestern Gulf of Mexico as we go through the next five to seven days. These sea surface temperatures are warm here. This is the sea surface temperature anomalies, and it's very far above normal across the Bay of Campeche here into much of the Gulf of Mexico here and those shelf waters in the eastern coast of Mexico as well. Very warm currently. So let's look here at the pressure in millibars on Father's Day. We have to watch this 1,002 millibar low over Central America on Father's Day. That will lift north into the Bay of Campeche as we go into early next week. This is Tuesday, June 18th down to a 995 millibars. Remember, it's going to be moving over very warm waters, so this is likely to become a tropical depression, if not a weak tropical storm at this point. Then as that moves west, the big question mark is how long does it take over water? And the longer it will be, the stronger the system will get because we have those warm water temperatures. The faster it moves on land there in Mexico, the weaker the system will be. So that's the big question mark right now. What is the residence time at this low pressure system stays over the water? We'll keep an eye on that. But right now, this model guidance on Thursday, June 20th, which is also the start of astronomical summer, does have it down to a 986 millibar there entering into eastern Mexico and bringing some very heavy rainfall amounts, possibly double digit totals to parts of northeastern Mexico and even coastal Texas from Houston down through the Victoria area, Corpus Christi and Brownsville, Texas, as we go through next week. Some of those areas up to a foot of rain. And looking at the Eastern Pacific Ocean, dwindling chances of anything developing here south of Mexico in the Eastern Pacific Basin, 10% chance that's down from 20% yesterday. So dwindling chances as we go through the next five to seven days. We'll keep an eye this year on the Eastern Pacific Ocean as well. Thank you all for watching. If you like today's weather forecast, consider giving a like down below by a thumbs up. Leave any comments, questions, and concerns below. And of course, subscribe to the channel as we'll have a new weather forecast next Monday. I am taking the weekend off, folks. We've been doing a video every single day since April 21st. I'm taking a trip to Wisconsin this weekend for Father's Day. So the next video here on the main channel will be scheduled for Monday, June the 17th. So thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your Father's Day weekend, everyone. And I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their Friday as well.